right, so I wanted to show you this uh, this filament. Here is, I don't know if I can get it. All right, here's a piece of ABS. All right, you can see whenever you uh, when you bend it. This stuff actually is pretty good. It doesn't snap. A lot of the ABS I use, store bought, is uh, it'll break. And uh, this stuff doesn't do that. This is my homemade filament. So you can see what that looks like, kind of. It's kind of stiff, kind of hard. If I tie it in a knot, it'll tie in a knot without breaking. This stuff does. Store-bought stuff doesn't do so well. But here's the nylon. And it is just like, it's totally different. I mean, you can't, you almost can't, uh, well, you can't, you can't break this stuff. I can try to bend it. I mean, it just, it, it's, this stuff just don't, it's crazy strong stuff. So, um, so we're going to print that gear. We'll see what happens. Oh, more nylon. So, this is the nylon that I've printed out. And uh, I'm going to be testing this with a destructive method. So I print stuff out at 250 degrees Celsius, 245, 240, and a few pieces at 235, which is actually what I'm printing at right now. So I want to make sure this is a good rate. Um, the reason I wanted to try different um, temperatures is because every once in a while I can get a print to be really clear and nice and solid. It's really hard to see on this print, but the bottom actually has a different look. This uh, first, I don't know, five millimeters is like a solid, nice looking, um, hard plastic. And then this is like, almost looks like it's got air in it or bubbles or moisture or whatever. Some nuts in there. Um, so anyway, so my, the idea here is to test a bunch of different stuff. So we're going to do two different, two different methods. Um, the first method, we're going to just use the pliers and we're going to smash it. Second method, we're going to take a hammer, we're going to hit it. So, let me get all these out. And I don't have an egg at the lower temperature, so I need to, uh, at 235, I need to do that. But, I might even go lower, down to 230, and see if that helps. Because it seems like the lower temperatures extrude nice when it's just in the air, but when you're laying it down, that's when it turns this funny color. Oh, let's see. I'll do the other ones. Do this one instead. Okay. So here we go. Just right like this. This is 250. Split. All right, it's split right there, cracked there, but uh, and cracked over here. So it appears that it's uh, that one's quite brittle. All right, let's try 245. I can get a closer shot for you. Okay, that one's also quite, quite brittle. Although, the top didn't crack quite as bad. The top is still intact, actually. Try it this way. Yeah, see, the top is still intact. So actually, that's, that's better. Let's try 240. Still the bottom, you know, it's cracking, but the top's staying good. But, you know, it's kind of sort of to be expected. Um, I think that's due to overheating of the <laughs> bottom as it's being printed. I, I don't know, really. But check it out. I mean, I cannot break that. Now, the 235, all I got is a, is a bolt and a nut, so... I'm going to take the nut, I'm going to try to smash it, just bent it, will not, 
will not seem to be breaking so the lower temperatures allow the plastics I think to uh, there it's finally starting to split layers but that took a lot of force to split layers a lot all right so next we're going to use the hammer I do have a I do have a nut at 245 let's see if it's brittle we'll do the hammer test with the uh, with the bolt so let's see if this guy let's see if my theory is right this is going to break nope it's fine so theory is incorrect about temperature being brittleness I think it's just the, the shape of this guy Actually, this looks like it's holding up better. 245 is holding up better. Which 245 is like right in the mid-range for most of the people's tests. Man, that's... Okay. That, that still won't break. That's pretty good. So, let's go to the floor with the hammer and see what we get. Safety first. So, I have here a pretty big hammer. And uh, I'm just going to uh, hold it at a pivot and drop it on these samples. See what we get. So we'll start out with again 250 first. Okay. I'm just going to lift this up and drop it. So it looks like uh, it looks like it exploded, but this ring here is still good. And one other thing I want to check is delamination too. Did it break or did it delaminate? This one's sort of trying to delaminate. You can peel it. But oh, we have a little ring guy. All right, let's try 245. Oh, I missed. Okay. That one actually held up a little better. I'm not quite sure if I hit it quite as hard, but let's check for delamination. Oh, that seems that that one seems like it's a lot better. Um, feels a little better. It feels like it's a lot better. So that's good. Let's try 240. Man, it just blows out the side. <laughs> Look at that. That held up a lot better. Check for delamination. That's pretty good. This feels really good. A lot. It seems like it's a lot better. So 245 is even better. And we'll try our bolt. Okay, this is 235. It's gonna hit it right on the side. Blew the bottom off of it, but that's solid. That is pretty solid. All right. So that was 235. Let's try the 245 bolt. See if they blow the bottom off of this guy too. <laughs> yep. Delamination. Ooh. All right. We just 
We split that guy right in half. But that's that's pretty good. Pretty good. Now I'm on some pretty good stuff. All right. Well, there's what's left of our samples. So let's try. Uh, let's try one more thing. So with the rings that we have left, we're gonna we're gonna cut it and we're gonna bend it backwards. See if we can get any delamination that way. One little spot tried to peel a little. If I bend it completely, it wants to try to split a little here and there. This is 250. Alright, let's try the 245. That one's good. This stuff is good. That one seems to be really good. Let's try the 240. This one's thicker, so we really get to see it split or not. And this is at a curve, too, so it's going to split. It's really going to split. And it did right in the middle. But I don't know. I mean, if I can't rip this apart with my hands, it's probably not going to fail in the standard use. I mean, because you're not going to be deforming this thing this far anyway. But there is a, I mean, there's a small crack on this one because it's it's a uh, it's actually curved. So I'm bending the whole curve backwards. So, but I can't seem to, I can't seem to even pull pull those two pieces apart. Right, like this. To actually pull those apart. Ah, oh, there I got some finally. Oh. So that's 240. That, that's, I mean, all these seem fairly good. But um, there you go. That was the nylon test. I wanted to see what would happen. Here's a here's a sample of some of these gears that I'm printing. So that's on the other video. I'm trying to mock this guy. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed and hope this is helpful. 250, 245, 240, and 232. Printed on my Delta printer using uh, Cura, and I believe the layer height on these were 1. Point, I'm sorry, 0.15 millimeter. So, and I'm using a 0.35 millimeter nozzle. So that's what I got. Have a good day. I got one little addition. This cap is one that started printing nice and clear that I was discussing with you guys. See how nice and clear that is and not all bubbly? Let's see if this guy is going to break like the rest of them. I believe if I can get it to print like that, look at that, fold that guy right in half, and, it, and it's it's not splitting on the other end. That is quite impressive, and that looks way better. So we're gonna have to figure out how how to get this thing without having these bubbles in it. I really think some of the problem is actually moisture content. But look at that. Now the hammer test, which I'm not going to do on this, would confirm uh, would confirm basically if a shock is part of the problem. But look at that, I can't even... I mean the inside is still perfectly fine. So, this is tallium or nylon. Alright, have a good day. Eee.